Do you know where you want to be when you grow up? Hey, it's almost freshman year of college! Woohoo! Do you know what you're going to major in? Hey, approaching senior year of college! Do you have a job lined up? Hi! Welcome back to my channel! Today is going to be a different type of video. Um, it's a new topic that hasn't happened on my channel before, but it's literally my everyday life. And so, as some of you might know, I graduated from UC Berkeley with a computer science degree and I am now working as a software engineer in San Francisco. And honestly, how the heck did I know I wanted to do that? Like, So today I want to share with you some things that helped me determine if I wanted to go into computer science, if I wanted to be a software engineer, and let's do that! So growing up, I've always, always been a math, science over words kind of person. Um, I've always enjoyed math. I always, well, I would say enjoyed, but I've always been better at math, at science, and I was never good at like English words or like writing and like bio. I hated bio. That was bad. Um, I found that a lot of the subjects that I was good at and also that I liked had a common theme, which was problem solving. A lot of it had steps to solve a problem, and I loved, loved having, taking one big problem and then breaking it down and then like coming up with solutions. And with that, for example, like bio to me in high school was like all memorization of like photosynthesis, how your body works, and like, no, that was not me. But chem, on the other hand, was like this set formula, kind of, that you follow. And I loved um, everything that kind of makes sense in a analytical way. And for me, having a right answer, having like a clear end goal was really important to me when I had a problem to solve. For example, like if I was writing a poem, like I don't know what's the end state gonna be. Like I don't know what's gonna make a perfect poem, which probably doesn't exist. Um, but the first is if I'm Solving a problem, like scientifically, um, that gave me a lot of clear direction on which way I'm actually gonna do it. And computer science was definitely one of those things where you're given a problem and based on your experience, based on your research, you can come up with the best answer that you think is the solution. And that was great! Like, I was like, oh yeah, there's always a right answer. Um, I start from A and then I get to B. Yes! That's exactly what I needed. So on top of knowing the fact that I've always really liked math and science, I let myself try things. So in high school, I was able to find this program that helped girls learn and step into the coding world. And at that time, I was just like, I mean, I kind of knew what computer science is, but not really. I knew that computer science was something that involved problem solving and critical thinking and when I was given the opportunity to apply, I was like, oh yeah, why not? I don't do anything after school anyway. So that program, I went into the program, it was one of the programs that really helped getting more girls into STEM and our team's kind of responsibility was to come up with an idea for a mobile app. and. We had the programming part and I loved it. It was a lot of logical thinking and a lot of that I loved and I loved. And after that, um, it was my senior year of high school and that's when I took AP Computer Science. AP Computer Science was definitely the class that I was like, oh yeah, this is for me. <laughs> In my computer science class, we were, we've were we done a few projects. Um, we started with Java, which is a programming language and it was a lot of fun solving through a lot of logic and like breaking down a lot of the code that we have to write and all of that made me i was like oh there's a lot of critical thinking there's a lot of problem solving and it's great like i loved it and within that i was able to get a really great introduction like kind of like just stepping my foot into the door of computer science and it Nevertheless to say, like, it was great. And I definitely saw that some people in the class did not like it. They found that programming was really, really annoying because there are bugs that you have to solve um, in your code. There are things that are wrong. There are things that you have to rewrite, for example. And it's definitely not for everyone, but, but it was for me, at least. Um, that's where I found my passion. Um, so another thing in my PCS class that 
really made me realize that it was for me was all of the teamwork and collaboration that was happening. I've always been someone that liked working with people and computer science, you might think of this image where like programmers are just like typing away in their dark room and just like these programs are like, what? No, not really. Um, like being in a software company and also even in college, um, you work with teams and of people and you try to come up with different roles within the team and you talk about the problem you're, that you're trying to solve together. And I enjoyed a lot of that collaboration and being able to you know, bounce ideas off each other and eventually coming up with um, what we think the solution would be, um, coding up the solution, etc. I really liked the beginning, seeing the beginning of a problem going from a solution from A to B. So ABCS class was the class that reassured me that I wanted to at least go into college and try to major in this thing and at least explore more when I was when I was going to college afterwards. So when I submitted my UC application, I wrote about my mobile app program and I wrote about computer science. I wrote about teamwork. I wrote about collaboration. Um, and those are the things that I think if you are going into computer science, that those are the things that you'll encounter a lot, a lot. And fast forward, um, to my UC Berkeley computer science years. Um, I was there for four years, so when I first went in, I was like, oh yeah, I'm gonna do this computer science thing for sure. So I took my first um, computer science introductory class and I liked it. I liked it a lot. Um, it had a lot of the components that I enjoyed, a lot of the problem solving, a lot of the teamwork. Um, a lot of that was really enjoyable to me, um, even though, honestly, like some of the content were hard. They were challenging. They were definitely challenging, but I think, to me at least, I would be able to figure out the solution if there was a perfect solution that I was going for. First, like I, as I mentioned earlier, I'm not going to be able to figure out what's a perfect poem. But in computer science, I was given problems that I knew what the end solution would be, and that really, oh man, that satisfaction you get when you try to solve a problem and you finally <laughs> get there. Or like when you are working on a program, like a coding program or a project for so long that like you finally get through all the bugs and get through all of the thinking and like finally you see this thing in front of you that is working. Oh my goodness, that is like the greatest satisfaction ever. Oh. And I realized that in Berkeley, I had to take other general education classes and like I took classes in like sociology, psychology, like education, etc. Every of those classes I took, I realized how I cannot be in that field. So that was a really brief summary of how I knew computer science was for me. By no means this list is what you should fit into if you wanted to go into computer science. Those are just some of the things that I've found out or I look back on myself and I realize, oh, those are the things that really make me like and love being in the computer science and being a software engineer. Um, as I always tell people, like if you want to go into computer science, you should try it. Like um, now, like maybe back in my high school days, which was not that long ago, but like you don't have to look for programs to join for to give you a step into the CS world and like getting to know what computer science actually is. There are so many, so many online resources now online. It will give you a good sense of coding. And that's a huge part of computer science is to write code. And I really encourage you to just go try it. And what do you have to lose? There might be, you're losing like what, 20 hours of your time and you realize, oh, maybe this is not for me. I mean, that's not that much time compared to figuring out what you want to do when you grow up, right? When you grow up. So that was a little different of a topic on my channel. If you have any additional questions about computer science, about my journey, and etc, etc, feel free to leave a comment below and you can also find me on Instagram. And if you like this topic, this topic of computer science, this topic of software engineering, feel free to let me know in the comments so I know to do more of these maybe. So I hope you enjoyed today's content. Um,
Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time. Bye!